children begin to learn different coping strategies from the time they're born. As they get older, they enhance these skills so they're able to manage more complex or difficult situations. Supporting children to build their coping skills helps them manage life's ups and downs, as well as strengthening their mental health and well-being when starting school and into the future. Meeting new people. I was a bit shy of, of um, people getting their bags on because I didn't really like it, so my dad holded it for me. When the bear rings, you have to line up and sit up and you have to go back in your class and, and sometimes when you take photos, you have to go in different classes. On my first day, we were a bit shy and when they read books to us, we didn't know what it was all about. When faced with difficult or challenging situations, your child may feel overwhelmed, angry or perhaps distressed. It can be hard for them to think clearly at these times. So one way to help them cope is to teach them some tricks for how they might manage these strong emotions. Teaching them strategies to calm themselves like counting to ten, taking five deep breaths, or dancing their worries away will help them deal with difficult situations. Sometimes be by yourself and have a little bit of quiet time and calm down. They tell fun jokes. You think of your favourite things and what you want to do. You tell your friends what, why you feel sad and then if you still feel sad, you can tell a teacher. If you talk to a friend and you play with a friend. Another way you can support your child is by helping them understand that how we think affects the way we feel and behave. Sometimes we have helpful thoughts that make us feel and act in positive ways, while at other times we have unhelpful thoughts that can lead us to feeling negative or bad about ourselves or the situation. Unhelpful thinking is very common in both children and adults. Children need to know they're not wrong to have unhelpful thoughts. Everybody has them. But learning to recognise them and replacing them with helpful thoughts is a way of managing their feelings better. Well, that, that doesn't have to be perfect. Just have another try, yep. Owen, I know it's tricky. Can you give it another try? It doesn't mean that Sarah doesn't like you anymore. Maybe there's some other ways we can think about that. Another way to prepare your child for big challenges is to help them come up with a step-by-step -step plan. This involves breaking down the problem into smaller steps so it feels more manageable. Together, you can work out how to break it down and as your child achieves each step, it's a great opportunity to provide praise and encouragement. So recently with her swim school, we had a few concerns because there was a change of teacher and um, a change of pool and she was a little bit nervous about the situation. The swim teacher suggested her putting her face under the water so she was getting used to having, like, being underwater so she wasn't so nervous when she was in the deep pool. Um, and once we sort of broke that down and worked on some smaller steps, it sort of just helped the overall situation. Children also learn a lot about coping from their family and other adults. So it helps to show them how you manage in a tricky situation. You might talk out loud about a situation so they can hear you working it through. Everyone copes with change in different ways and children are just the same. By learning about helpful thinking, problem solving, step-by-step -step plans and the benefits of asking for help, Children are able to face the challenges of starting school, beginning new friendships and learning new things with more confidence. And importantly, they'll help your child to have a positive outlook on the world around them.